Here at Reply, we're building a product that complements the uh, sales process, which, as AJ mentioned, is discover, engage, execute, and improve. To begin with, we have the Chrome extension, which empowers you to be able to get emails right from LinkedIn profiles using our own proprietary email finding solution, Name to Email, as well as a third-party tool enabling you to utilize two ways in which to get the email. I will demonstrate this by scraping an email from our very own CMO Olivia Milton's LinkedIn profile, which, as you can see, all the contact details automatically populated with the most important fields, such as first name, last name, title, company, location, and LinkedIn URL. Now, to scrape her email, I'll use our third-party tool to discover her email address. Once discovered, I save her profile, and I can then add her directly to an email campaign, select the step, and move. It's that simple. Now that you've moved to a sequence and the emails are going out and you have tasks that need to be done for the day, not a problem. All you have to do is access a task right from the Chrome extension itself, which by the way, will have all the discovery questions, phone number, and the LinkedIn URL, so you can easily carry out all the required activity from the task itself. I will touch on this during the ex ex execute portion of the demo. Now, if some of you are wondering what about pulling contact details with our CRM or email inbox, such as Copper, Salesforce, HubSpot, and Gmail? Well, we have good news. Our founder has confirmed to me that you will be able to synchronize contacts right from within those CRM platforms. So for example, we use Copper here at Reply. And if I were to open a contact record within Copper, it automatically pulls the contact details into the Chrome extension. There's also plans to be able to do bulk uploads of lists as well. So look out for those for that release in the near future. Now that you've discovered the uh, contact details, you can now engage with your prospects via multiple channels. You could send personal emails, follow-ups, make calls, generate daily tasks, and make social connections with your prospects. Marketing expert Dr. Jeffrey Lant talks about the rule of seven. It takes at least seven touch points before you enter the buyer's consciousness. That means over the touch points, a client needs to have enough information about their own situation and your offering before they can be considered a sales-ready lead. So with Reply, you can utilize a multi-channel touch point sequence to do this very effectively. So the first step is, is an email. Within the email, you can have custom fields such as first name, title, company, and also import custom fields to make your emails that much more personalized. And keep in mind, the more personalized you get, the higher likelihood of your prospects replying to your outreach efforts. You can even import a custom field called snippet and put in a sentence from a blog article you read. You can also embed images, links, go video videos, along with attachments as well. You can utilize our community of templates within the folder to get access to multiple templates types based on outreach objective. If you look to the right, you will notice that we have an email quality check status bar that indicates based on an aggregate of successful email templates with high conversion rates, how your template stacks up against that benchmark. So you can be proactive in putting your best foot forward. In reply, you have the ability to A-B test as well. So you can add a second variant to the A-B test subject line or the content within the body of the email as well to see which variant gets the most opens and replies. The second step will be a social task to add this contact on LinkedIn. And you can also attach a note which you can copy and paste as part of the ad request. I'd recommend a personalized note answer the question what's in it for them. You can also create a task to engage the prospect via any social media platform as well. Third step will be a call step. And if you're leading a team of BDRs and you wanna ensure the BDRs qualify the account properly, you can paste a list of questions that you would like each rep to ask the contact. So once they open the task, they'll see the list of questions. We will add one more email step to demonstrate the ability to thread emails so that follow-up emails will be attached to the first step email and have the same subject line as the first step. 
Moving on to the schedule part of the campaign, you can use the default schedule or create a custom schedule based on certain hours or days you would like the emails to go out and reply or follow it accordingly. To create a custom schedule, just click on the red button and follow the details. Next is to import contacts. You can integrate reply with Salesforce, Pipedrive, Copper, Base, and Close to pull contacts, but for this demonstration, I will show you how to import via a .csv file. While I load this up, once loaded, you'll notice that all the column headers are listed on the left-hand side, along with the corresponding reply fields to be mapped. You can push contacts into a particular list and also set contact time zone, which will enable reply to send based on your prospect's location. So long as you have the state and city, if within the United States, or country and city, if outside of the United States. Final step is to review settings, where first setting is to set maximum number of emails that can be sent per day. This allows to avoid mail servers treating your emails as high volume mass mailing makes emails go out more gradually and easier to handle responses promptly. The next setting is throttling, which refers to the number of prospects that will be processed by the sequence during a given 24-hour period. This option affects steps of all types and offers you the, uh, the ability to manage user workload for specific sequences on a daily basis. If more than the allotted number of prospects are added to a sequence, they will be processed on the, uh, the following days of your attached schedule, with the sequence focusing on the contacts that were added to the sequence first. Important note is that this option will effectively limit the number of total emails sent if set lower than that of max number of emails per day setting. The settings are pretty self-explanatory. You can see that there is an info tab outlining what each setting entails. Uh, but just to kind of go on, the next is delay between each email, which you can customize here. You can also choose it to disable open tracking or enable links tracking here as well. The other settings have to do with reply handling, task handling, and priority over first step or follow-up emails. Now that you've launched a campaign, you will have call social touch tasks created for you to execute on which you can access right in the Chrome extension as well. For example, let's say you launched a campaign and one of the tasks was to add a prospect on LinkedIn. Once you open the prospect, you can see that the task already had a LinkedIn icon, so you can easily access the prospect's LinkedIn page with the click of a button. Now that you added the prospect, let's say the next step was a call. Once again, you can execute that right within the task itself using your cloud call functionality. You can enable call recording, which will not only log the call within the activity history, but also have the actual audio available in the activity history as well. Let's go ahead and uh, make a call. Once the call is done, you can label it as a positive or negative resolution and leave notes so you can follow up accordingly. In the settings tab, you can see the call settings available such as enable calls where you can rent a dedicated number, local dial where it allows you to call contacts using a local phone number that updates to the area code in relation to the contacts you're attempting to reach based on their country and state information. Custom caller ID shows your real phone number to a contact when you make a call using the cloud calls feature and inbound calls transfer. And when you enable this feature, Inbound calls to numbers you've rented from Reply will be enabled and automatically transferred to your phone number. This is phone number you've entered into your account details. Now that you've launched a campaign, you can utilize the campaign's detailed analytics to improve your campaign's performance. As you can see, you have all the important metrics displayed in regards to opens, replies, interested reply, out of office, bounced, all have their own metrics, so you can know with confidence that only organic replies from your customers are listed within the reply rate. Now, if you wanted to see the results from the A-B test, scroll down and click on the A-B test tab. 
where you will notice that each step has its own set of metrics, enabling you to quickly figure out which template generated the best results. Now scrolling back up, you can see all the percentages. But what if you wanted to see who actually opened your emails? For that, you can click on the All Time tab. And now each metric becomes clickable. And since, since most customers want to see who's actually opening their emails, I will click on Open this metric, which will give you a list of contacts who have opened the email at least once, which is nice, but you want to see all the contacts that not only open the email, but reopen and view that email multiple times. I can then click on the Filter tab and click Show me all the contacts who have viewed my email more than five times and have not replied yet. And once they get the results, I can move them to another campaign or even export to a CSV and make calls. In, in, you could also utilize the cloud call feature and make calls down the list as well. This concludes the demo. If you have any questions, feel free to ask during the uh, question and answer part of the webinar and we'll be happy to uh, field the questions at that time. Back to you, uh, AJ.